How soon would you like your packages delivered? Five working days? Two days? Overnight? Or in two hours? What about 30 minutes? Yes, you can buy something from an online store and get it delivered to you in half an hour or less. That is the promise of drone delivery services. Drone delivery, simply put, is the use of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, to deliver parcels, packages, goods, what have you to your doorstep or nearest landing spot to your residence. In the past decade, the idea of utilizing drones to deliver consumer goods have taken popularity and entry into the delivery industry when Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos announced in 2013 that they are developing this concept in their delivery processes. It will work and it will happen and it's going to be a lot of fun. By 2016, Amazon Prime Air was launched and brought parcels and packages to the sky. Stick around until the end of this video if you want to find out when drone delivery will become part of our everyday lives. But before there was Amazon and USPS, there was the Pony Express and Carrier Pigeons. The delivery and courier industry has a history that spans thousands of years. People used to run or hire someone else to run and deliver goods and letters to each other in the olden days. As people became more progressive and as we used more resources, the need to transport around letters to communicate with each other long distance and goods became a necessity. We eventually learned to turn to horses to ride them or use them on stagecoaches and carrier pigeons. Banking giant Wells Fargo and American Express were actually one of the intertwined pioneers of the modern-day concept of express delivery systems, as they initially started out as companies that provided the service of express delivery and shipment of goods before they became the titanic banking and financial institutions they are today. The invention of the telegraph caused the very short run of the Pony Express with operations that only lasted 18 months. However, their operation led to the realization that an effective round-the-clock transcontinental system to communicate and transfer goods has to be established. We have come a long way in achieving mobility of our resources. The rise of the automobile industry from using dedicated train systems, bicycles, ships, and boats have all been established and utilized by the pioneers of the courier, delivery, and logistics industry giants such as the United Parcel Service, UPS, DHL, and FedEx. And now Amazon has stepped in to disrupt the game by pioneering the drone delivery systems with Amazon Prime Air. Akin to when we used carrier pigeons, UAVs or drones are now taking to the skies to deliver and transport our goods. American medical delivery company Zipline was among the first to prove the importance of this rather alternative mode of delivery. In a partnership with the government of Rwanda, they established a medical distribution center in Mohanga. As Rwanda's terrain possessed a huge challenge for traditional land transportation, drones became their main mode of mobility to transport medical supplies and other goods to remote places. Expanding their operations in Rwanda and Ghana, Zipline has made around 70,000 drone deliveries. Drones have also been used in humanitarian and disaster relief efforts in various places around the world, especially in the hard-to-reach rural areas struck by calamity. Danish shipping company Merst has also experimented on the uses of drones to resupply ships instead. This proves that drones have become vital in streamlining the food, parcel, and postal deliveries as well as ship resupplying. Throughout the years 2014 to 2015, Google with Project Wings, FedEx, China-based Alibaba, and Israeli startup Flytrax have all explored using drones in their e-commerce processes to deliver products and parcels. The Federal Aviation Administration first gave approval to Flirty, which made medical deliveries and partnered with Domino's Pizza in New Zealand to make food deliveries. They also struck a partnership with 7-Eleven, which was the first FAA-approved drone delivery in the U.S. Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub are also experimenting and looking into offering drone delivery options to their consumers in the near future. Drones use a rather multi-rotor powertrain system with horizontally aligned carbon fiber propellers. 
because they are mostly operated in autopilot and are self-autonomous, a rather sophisticated system of inertial sensors like accelerometers, GPS, magnetic sensors, airflow sensors to navigate through their delivery routes and locate their drop-off points. Ground control systems also aid a drone for their safe and efficient operation. While all this sounds innovative, using drones commercially does come with huge roadblocks. Drone delivery processes may offer a cheaper alternative to current traditional delivery options, but there are many limitations as to what kind of goods and parcels drones can carry and deliver, as well as the costs to manufacture and maintain these unmanned vehicles. A little error in their landing systems, their flight mechanisms, their GPS systems, Object detection hardware and software could mean hundreds and thousands of dollars of upkeep. The biggest hurdle that was crossed in this endeavor to take delivery systems to the sky would be the legislation around the legalities of being able to operate these drones. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA in the U.S. has granted Amazon, UPS, and wing clearance to launch the drones commercially as long as they abide by the regulations. They remain to walk on eggshells, though as a simple screw-up could mean the revoking of these clearances. The FAA regulations require that the drones must not get out of their line of sight and must not fly over people. This means operation on densely populated urban areas would require a waiver. Other regulations state that the drones must not be heavier than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, fly only at a maximum of 400 feet at speeds no greater than 100 miles per hour. Drones must also only be flown at daytime and operators should have flying certificates. There is still such to explore on drones being used in the delivery and logistics industry. But one thing is for sure, it would not be long until we see drones flying above us more frequently as more and more businesses are exploring the possibilities of drone deliveries. We have come a long way from carrier pigeons to now relying on sophisticated technology to deliver our stuff for us give or take within the next five to ten years these unmanned modern day carrier pigeons are going to dominate and create traffic in the sky according to research and markets the global drone delivery service market is expected to reach five billion dollars by 2030. they also predicted that the drone delivery service market is expected to grow at a 14.5 percent rate on value basis from 2023 to 2030. As to the question of will this disrupt the delivery and logistics industry, maybe the way to answer this is that, like every innovation made in any industry, this will revolutionize and redefine the entire delivery industry. At this point, the skies are no longer the limit to what we are able to explore and achieve. And by that, we can expect our packages to softly land in our nearest, safest landing area very, very soon. What do you think? Are you excited for drones to become a normal sight in the sky, delivering packages and goods? Or are you skeptical? Let us know in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more substantial and awesome videos like this one. Thanks for watching.